Hello, hi, I'm Patricia McNeely. I am an Illumins Blu-ray Twin Flame from Chicago, Illinois. How is everybody out in Twin Flame Landia? I hope you're all doing well. I have a few things that I want to talk about today. And I know that uh, there's been a lot going on. Uh, first, I would really like to say that uh, I'm very sorry to everyone who's been affected by not only the events in Paris, but in a lot of other parts of the world. Um, there's a lot of pain. There's a lot of things popping out. These are concrete examples of the mental and emotional body popping people. And nobody knows where the next explosions are going to come. And this is part of what we're all up against. It has to do with the old mental body and being disconnected from the heart. A lot of people will say, well, you know, how could that happen? There are people who are so very disconnected and they can't feel the truth. They can't feel their own truth. And it's going to be that way. And I want to encourage all of you who are twin flames and who have awarenesses to really feel your truths, to continue going into your heart. And we're going to talk about a few things because some of you uh, do know that there's a square with Neptune. Now, uh, I myself do feel these cosmic events as more than astrology. It has a lot to do with being a Blu-ray and being a part of the orchestration. This is what makes it difficult for a lot of us it, because if you are a twin flame, depending on what kind of twin flame you are, you may be waiting for certain things, waiting for certain doors to open. You're also relying on other people being in their union and aligning themselves properly. You're also relying on other things lining up. We're all relying on each other, and yet this is where the difficulty comes in because it's not always staying in the collective. It doesn't mean stay in the collective. It means be in your union and do your part. Do your part because sometimes you're just doing your part is for the greater good. It really is. So how are things out in Twin Flame Landia? Well, from what I can feel, there are some people who've reached, you know, they've kind of hit that wall. There's some people who've reached a point of complete apathy. Like, I just don't care about this twin flame stuff anymore. There's other people in so much pain, a lot of physical pain, and there's quite a number of people who would love for their real life to begin. And if you're not a twin flame and you're just watching this for spiritual stuff, you may not understand everything without actually experiencing it. I won't discourage you, and I will say that more than likely you're here to expand your new light body. But it is the twin flames that go ahead and create and orchestrate first and foremost. So, as we have this Neptune square right here, and the energy of Neptune is very dreamy, but it is also the place where so many... Uh, people, the part of your divine masculine, and yes, from those long ago and far away cosmic timelines. If you remember, my last video was talking about your cosmic sacred heart and reconnecting it. And yes, I also had a webinar to give you tools. I've had a lot of people have really good success with those tools, those exercises that I have. But you're the very thing. What have people wished for? They wish for their twin flame to wake up and come home. The dreamers are waking up. And yes, for some of you Blu-ray people, you're going to be waking up your own children. That's how it is. You're going to be helping some of your children through their ascension process. And what have some of you had happen when you had your awakening? And you wanted people to understand you and be patient. I'm going to please ask you, please be patient for your other half. Please accept that they are having their own awakening or they're having a further awakening, a grander awakening. More light bulbs are going off. 
this is by no means done. You're not done with each other, no matter what choices you've made in earthly life. So the love will always be there. That's all there ever is, love. When you can feel the love, that, it, you know, it's a hard thing to say from a human standpoint. Hang your hat on the love. That's what you're... Love is all there is. That's all that there is out there in the universe. It's here on earth where some of this stuff is being contained so it doesn't get back out to the universe. And yeah, it's making people wiggy. People are like, do, 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 do. They don't know what to do. They don't know what to do. And the best thing to do is focus on your heart. Be creative. You know, catch those parts of yourself. Get into your own creative mode and yes if you are a twin flame you are expecting your twin flame you're expecting more and more of each other not just you're expecting more from each other you're expecting more and more and more of each other to come in here so it's connecting some of you who are in soulmate relationships you're going to begin not feeling it and you certainly can't fake it and I know for a lot of people if you've had any type of 3D sex and especially if you're a woman or a man you've probably had those times where your mind is thinking of anything but or you just wish the person would shut up and just get on with it so you can you know get some release and move on with your life or you're laying there thinking about if you left the oven on or something like that you're not here to fake it anymore. You're not here to fake it in any kind of a karmic soulmate relationship or marriage. That's not going to be possible for people. And your bodies will be screaming to let be let out. Just screaming. You're going to feel it on parts of your body. Now, if you are waiting for your twin, you must try and try and try again to be patient for them. Just like everyone around you was patient while you went through all your stuff, while everyone might have thought that you were a little kooky with your meditations, and depending how far back you go, because um, I was a child in the 60s and 70s, and people were thought of as being nut jobs if you ate health food. And yeah, it was that way at one time, that if you ate healthy, there was something a little off about you but that's not true now is it and for people with allergies that's been a blessing sometimes if you're eating the things that you know your body needs a lot of you have enough of your angelic side and your human angelic side open and your channels open more chakras than you ever even knew existed open and you're able to feel things. You're able to glean things for yourself. And this is going to be one of the key differences going forward is that ability to almost self-diagnose and yet, you know, shift it around where you get everything you need to maintain yourself. So your maintenance, part of your maintenance is being patient. Hold steady because when all this stuff comes off, I'm going to talk about it again here. When world events happen, I don't care if it's a natural disaster, an earthquake, a tsunami, a flood, um, lava. It, I've, lived, I've said it before, I've lived through three floods, lightning strike, um, fire, and you know what? It's, it's not fun. The mess isn't fun to clean up. Here we have infrastructure. We're trying to get the infrastructure, the proper infrastructure to everyone. So that, And I don't mean America. I mean the higher infrastructure so that people can connect themselves to the grid of life. The grid of life is here. While your twin is getting reconnected, hold steady. Because when world events come, and this is especially for now. It's happened to me. It's happened to several people that I've done a reading or a session for. Your guts are being stirred up, but what's in the gut and the liver? And this is particularly true of people who originate from countries where drinking of alcohol is very prevalent or high level of family alcoholism or some other tendency to escape. 
it's going to stir up your gut. It's going to get things out. It's going to mean weird bowel movements, weird feelings down in your intestines, and especially your colon. This is getting out the urge to fight, retaliate, avenge, or become a martyr. It's on, you know, you could say it's on both sides. You know, why do they want to do this to us? And well, if you go far back enough into history, you will find that some of us have done things to some of them. Okay, the, there is no us and them. We've all done dirty to each other. We all have. That's what karma is. Okay, that's a part of karma. It's experiencing. It's also that dualistic back and forth. Okay, it wasn't intended to be that way, but when you get stuck in these patterns, do 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 do, it just spins around in space. It doesn't go anywhere until it stagnates, and it takes people to get up and reconnect themselves, not fall into depression, not fall into that collective mind fog of all the stuff that's being released because it will. It disturbs people. I've been disturbed. One time I was really um, upset was when Princess Diana died. I woke up every single night for two weeks. Just, I don't even know why, except that there was something that broke. There, there are things that um, break off in us so that that's part of our expansion. It, it literally breaks off old connections to the collective. doesn't always feel like that when you're going through it. It, it you know, can... Some of the stuff will feel like a stomach ache, or it might feel like you, you know, ate something bad. We've been shoving this stuff down for lifetimes and girding our loins for battle or, or being prepared mentally by other people. And if you are a twin flame, if you have a masculine counterpart, because that's everybody, I don't care what kind of body you're in, whether you're gay, straight, lesbian, or transgender, there it is. There is masculine energy. There's old masculine that is cracking off and it is not the fault of men. I want to make that very clear. When I speak about masculine, I'm speaking about the electric masculine energy that has created things here. It's not here to hold up anything. We're not here to continue fighting and battling and, and staying in situations that we really don't want to be in and that are not natural to us. We are here to be able to go to the place where we really do live. Now, you will be lightened up to be together. Many of you who have lightened up and you've found a lot of, you know, things that are working for you and you feel really light. And you may be so lightened up and feeling great about yourself that you attract people. But you know deep in your heart that that person is not your twin. You still got to be patient and hold steady. Your twin needs you. Your twin was supporting you while you were getting yourself all well and doing healings for both of you. Now it's your turn. And yes, you have to hang on, hang on, not let go of them. You know, you're not haranguing them. You're not nagging their head about things. You're holding on with that eternal cord, that eternal connection you have in your heart. It's through your heart that they will feel safe, that they will feel loved that they will feel things in the manner that is proper, that is light and love, where there is no ego. I read an interesting article a couple weeks ago, and I know that I see these things for a reason. And there was an article uh, that after one of the mass shootings here, a woman had written an article saying, you know, that's my son, which caught my eye. I said, why would she want to expose herself and say, you know, this person who did it was my son? But it was, she wasn't the actual mother. She was someone that was writing about her own son's emo emotional and mental disturbances. Now, oddly in this, this woman had set her up with no support system. She had no concept that there were reasons, deep reasons, why that essentially her son had the equivalent of post-traumatic stress disorder, but from a long ago and far away, and yes, I'm in a unique position to be able to feel this. However, 
The mistakes were happening because she kept calling the police for intervention and not seeking proper help. There, and, and here's the, the kicker at the end. God help us. Well, who are the gods and goddesses? It is the twin flame couples. When you say no to your twin, you're saying no to healing any of these society's ills. You're saying no to helping the children. You're saying no to not bringing in the love that gets these things into place so that other people, you don't have to lay hands on them. That's not what everyone's here for. You're not here to lay hands on each other and, and heal them. You are here to do what you do best, but your love is you are the people who have the connections to bring in that higher love so that all of those mechanisms can get in place. So that essentially people making decisions on one side of the ocean are not becoming child abusers on the other side of the ocean when they send all kinds of things over there. And, you know, uh, I read another article uh, about a woman in France. Oddly, I read this article a week before everything happened. And they have an outreach to youth that is being recruited. But I'm going to tell you the very interesting part of it was the way that they finally reached these teenagers, most of them teenagers, is through music, memories, family, and that's how they get the heart to crack. Because when they don't, people will preach chapter and verse. And that's not what they're seeking. They want to get real help. They want to be able to get these people and essentially, she was in the position of helping these children reconnect their heart. Okay? You met your twin for a reason. It's to be in love again. This would be a beautiful, much better place if everyone on the planet were in love. I'm not sure that will um, happen anytime soon. But the more people that do stick with it and hold steady. In other words, when this stuff happens, you hold steady. If something else happens, you hold steady. You catch your balance. If something happens in your house, you breathe and you pause and you hold steady. And then you feel what action to take. That is how you do it. And yes, you're consulting with your higher self each and every time. If you cannot feel, I have several exercises. I know that there's other people that do. I have those packed into my webinars, a lot of people are going to be feeling all of this gut stuff and saying, what do I do? What do I do? Because there are things to do. It's clearing out for a reason. And yes, your, your heart that is the cup, it's emptying out so that you can fill it with love. So again, you are here to be together with your twin, not other people. And yes, there is a guarantee because especially if you've met each other, dreamt each other, been with each other, glimpsed each other, you will do it. You guaranteed it before you even were born here. And yes, those of us who are of the Blu-ray, we are insured, we've ensured that things have been transmuted. The new grid of life is not only here for Earth, here to the fifth dimensional Earth, here out to all of those favorite planets of people and back again. All of the footholds to every single dimension. Mechanisms for healing. And now also, if you're a Blu-ray, hang on because you may still be holding some system. It could be educational system, healthcare system, legal system, penal system. It could be the... Um, uh, gov some of the government systems. It could be, you know, some other organization that you're just holding that string until we can let go because we've reconnected fully and that's it. And the old will finish falling away. So uh, that actually happened to me last week. I found myself at a cancer doctor office knowing I don't have cancer. However, I was there as part of our agreement to finish, to finish and put mechanisms in place. That is what we do. That is what Blu-rays do. We are um, the ones who get things reconnected. We are the ones who create, we create the forms, we 
create the bridges to the higher levels. It's up to you to pull your twin and hold steady. Hang on. That is not what, um, only you can do it. That's what I'll say. You have the eternal connection to your heart. You're the only one that can do it. All right, so get ready because there will be more people waking up. Those of you who may be healers or have some type of um, a practice, whether you're an acupuncturist or a nutritionist or someone who is intuitive in some way, someone who is a Reiki master, get ready for a whole new level because those people are waking up and some of them will need you and they will find you. So thank you so much for listening. Some of this I've said before, but it bears repeating. And yes, if you're not holding steady for your own union, you're the only one that can. All right, everybody have a wonderful weekend. Uh, next week here in the United States, we head into a holiday week. For some of you, that's going to be, ooh, you know, lovely. And for some of you, that's going to be uh, weird family time. Hold steady. You may even feel your twin having weird family time. The weirdness is in the air, but that doesn't mean that you have to give in to it. Bye now.